Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And since it's Sunday, we're going to take you to church. Yep, the church of Twitter. The church of Twitter. We're going to talk about Twitter cancel culture and how similar this whole uh, movement is to you know, religious extremism. extremism. It is, yeah. Uh, we, we've talked about this before. We keep talking about the religious left, um, you know, and how it has become basically the religious right. You look at the religious right of the, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s and, and pushing puritanical views and trying to censor things and uh, trying to get people to conform to certain, you know, thought processes. And now it's, it's flip flop. But it's the same thought processes. Like Jessica Rabbit's too, you know, provocative. We have to cover her up. And, and oh, these games are bad. We need to cover everybody up. And you, know, you better, you know, not say such things because it's bad. It's hate speech. It's terrible. You need to cover it up. It's, you know, when even punk rock groups from the 70s are coming out saying that they've gone batshit, you know. Yeah, a lot of old school rockers are coming out and being like, what the hell is this? This is like the opposite of what, mm -hmm. you know, we, we stood for anyway. It's like, uh, you know, get, getting it from the the left. It's like the pendulum has swung too far the other way, mm -hmm. but still the same thing. It's Extremism either way, you could equate to being a zealot or being an like a, a religious group or religious sect. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, over over uh, 235,000 subs. And the reason we're talking about this is it seems like a lot of our videos are about cancel culture. It seems like every, every other day there's another celebrity or e-celebrity getting canceled for something stupid. Now, in some cases, you know, if you're doing something illegal or something like that, I can see people backing away mm -hmm. from you. In a lot of cases, it's just like I tweeted something off color 10 years ago, or I, you know, maybe didn't espouse the the right political views online We've today seen people i mean like what paula dean got canceled for something she supposedly said at, at, to somebody else like 30 years prior yeah i mean it, it's not that I'm, I'm agreeing with anything she said i'm just like this idea is it's very it reminds me of the amish when they shun people it is exactly like that we're it's shunning even even wikipedia uh, calls it online shaming, mm -hmm. cancel culture. They talk about being online shaming. We'll get there, but what, what kicked this off was actually the dictionary definition of zealot. Mm -hmm. um, one who is zealous, one who is full of zeal for his own specific, his, hers, their own specific beliefs mm -hmm. or objectives, usually in the negative sense of being too passionate, a fanatic. Someone who's fanatical about a belief. Um, they usually, someone who's zealous to extreme degree, a fanatic, usually people refer to like the evangelical Christians a lot of times they'll, they'll try to, you know, make that comparison and things like that. Extremists on the right. Um, not that all evangelical Christians are extremists. You know what no. I'm saying? But they like to, to label everybody that. It's the exact same damn thing. You can be evangelical Twitter, the church of Twitter evangelicals. Mm -hmm. Um, just as much we saw with atheism too. Like we had a friend and who listens sometimes and he knows who he is and got to the place where we, you, you said to him, it's like, you're becoming everything you say you hate. You're becoming ev so evangelical about being an atheist that you have literally become exactly what you said turned you off from, you know, the church to begin with. So you can become exactly what you hate. And there needs to be like, people don't realize that. They, think they go so far hard in the paint the other way that they're just doing the exact same thing. They're literally doing step by step the same thing. Yeah, I think I think your personal belief system is is a very personal thing. So that's thing. called a personal belief personal system? Be right. And I, I think that, uh, you know, you, you can have conversations with people about that or whatever. But when you force somebody or to demand it or demand that they adhere to your your doctrinal beliefs and i remember i mean i've said a couple times before that when you know i was a, a teenager i was basically in a christian cult mm -hmm. and a lot of the techniques that they use to keep everybody in line i see it now with the twitter cult it's the same mm -hmm. thing fear of being shunned, fear of being ostracized, having your peers turn against you, being guilted. Uh, getting, intervention. Intervention. You know, like, oh, my God, did you go on that live stream with that person? Oh, we need to have an intervention. It, it's it's mm. very disturbing because your personal beliefs and what you believe, you can choose to believe. That's not a problem. If you want to believe that and that's, you know, what makes you happy, okay, that's great. But you can't thrust what you believe on everyone else and expect them to all agree with you. And what happens is in these extreme cases – um, on either side, that these people, you know, behave in such a way that it's very bullying, toxic, um, just downright 
garbage behavior towards people. And they also have this mindset, especially Twitter, has this mindset that the whole world, um, you know, it, it has to have the same ideals they do. And when something doesn't go well, they 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 blame it on some political or whatever belief. But they the don't devil. Know, well, no, yeah, basically the devil being, um, you know, Trump. Orange. The devil yeah. is now orange. With and, bad and hair. you know, and <laughs> I've never seen like it. I've seen people legitimately want people dead. Yes. Over how they vote. And yes. it's absolutely ridiculous because even just like a few years ago, you didn't know how people voted and it didn't matter. Like people voted and it was none of your business. And you did, it wasn't like something you wore on, as a badge. You know, and, you know, you went to work and people there might have voted differently than you. And you didn't give a shit because it didn't matter um, that you have the right to vote. And that's how it was. But these people on Twitter are taking it to such extremes that it's becoming a like the, the church of Twitter. Um, and it's it's ridiculous. The church of woke, how you want to refer to it. And it's ab and I hate using that word. I don't like using the term woke. I very rarely use it. But in this case, I think it does apply. And it's getting to the place where it's absolutely ridiculous and i think more people need to, to to meet in the middle but they also expect the whole world like if something goes wrong they blame everybody in the world for something that's american based and that's not fair either people are getting put on lists that are being listed as you know you know alt right and stuff and they weren't even from america yeah, they don't even have the same political system. Like I'm from like Africa or something and I'm getting put on these lists and I don't even have the same political systems you have, you know, because these people are so militant. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it, it really is. And it's, you know, it's interesting. There was this article I, I read through it and it basically said that, you know, in the absence of like human beings are designed to have, uh, I guess, an operating system. Mm -hmm. Right. You're, if it were computers, we're designed to have an operating system, a program that carries out like these are our uh, values, our beliefs or whatever. And in the absence of religion, um, you know, whatever that is to you, then people tend to find something to fill that void. But it's the same thing. It's become politics. It's become, um, you know, cult like mentality. And it is. And it's the same like you go out. This is now this is before. Before the 2016 election, this is coming from the, the Atlantic, which is a, a pretty far left publication. And um, they said that there were seven signs for, for being in a cult. And they, of course, they're always tied to their religious community. Well, I'm sorry. At this point, yeah, pretty much our religious community. Yeah, it is. And, and you look at how Twitter attacks and guilts and, and whatever, and it does operate. And I, I've been saying this for years. It operates so much like the the group I was in, mm -hmm. where you were so afraid to step out of line. Yeah, you call it the religious left all the time. Uh, yeah, I do. But here, look at this. Number one, opposing critical thinking is a mm -hmm. sign you're in a cult, according to The Atlantic. Number two, isolating members and penalizing them for leaving. Mm -hmm. This happens all the time. If you leave the group, whether it's on Twitter or Tumblr or your, you know, your peers or whatever, you leave the group, you get uh, shunned, you get ostracized. Well, all we did, like when this whole thing started, you just put an article up about Marvel numbers and be like, wow, that's weird. We had knew nothing about like comics gear, any of that stuff, nothing about it. And that's all he did. And because of it, mm -hmm. all of our friends, a lot of our friends, people who knew us, people who got gigs because of us, all stopped following us. For no reason. And we're like, what the hell is going on? Then we found out about this other stuff. But immediately, because we didn't, we said, we, we, we thought to ourselves, we had critical thinking and we, we, we left what they considered the group in a way because we're like questioning things we shouldn't question. And then they all have to shun you. Yeah. We don't yeah. know you. We, you're, we're shunning you. Now, this one's interesting. Number three is emphasizing special doctrine outside of scripture. A lot of times, uh, you know, uh, religious cults will zero in on couple of passages from the they Bible. Do. You they know. don't take it in context. Right. It's not, you know, and again, these are, we're talking extremists. We're not talking your run of the mill. No, most run of the mill people, like in different religions, don't go to these. Right. They just don't. Most right. people are pretty much normal, rational people. We're talking the extremes. Yeah. So in this case, I would say, you know, look at, uh, you're talking about comics game. Look at on Twitter. I don't know if you remember the weirdness where they were, and this happened on three or four separate occasions. They were tweeting mantras 
Like yes. they're all in lockstep. Like I will not rape anybody. Yes. I believe comics are for everybody. And they would all like retweet each other. You had and, to, to make sure you knew that you were in the group. It's like having, yeah. you know, your group tattoo or your group badge, your group, you know, your group symbol. It was like your mantra. Yeah. I forgot about that, but yeah. It was weird as hell. Like I, I, I seriously, that for me was like, okay, if I had, if I had thoughts before that the, uh, the mainstream comic book industry, the Twitter comic book industry you know, was a cult. I mean, that cemented it for me. I'm like, this is fucking cult. Like mm -hmm. this is freaking weird. We um, get weirdness like about because, of, Oh, okay. I'll tell you what else is called like the, the whole, the, the Shira thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say so the Raylos, it's like, you are not, you, you are allowed to like, it doesn't matter if you say this, you're allowed to like that, but you are not allowed to not like it. And if you don't like it and don't agree, it's because automatically you hate them personally, even though you, that's not what it's about. And I was like, I have no problem if you identify a certain way. I don't care. But it's you're suddenly against them, and they take it personally. They try to dox you, wish you dead, send you threats, um, try to dox your children, and act like complete asshat morons on the internet. And all you said was, I don't like it. I mean, that's not how normal people behave. Well, we're not dealing with normal people. We're dealing with people who have been effectively indoctrinated into a social media cult, mm -hmm. you know, and it goes and it's not just the industry. It's just I think I think in the case of like, you know, again, back to comics, because there are so many comic book people that use Twitter, they've been indoctrinated. In, they're basically cultists, Twitter cultists who work in the comic book industry. And we use Twitter because it seems to be centralized very much yeah. so on there. I mean, other media, social media platforms, yes, you see it too. But Twitter seems to be like, I think, the worst. Oh, God, yeah. Um, and Hands I think down. it was because it was Tumblr. And they, they now Tumblr's not too bad, from my understanding. Everybody went to Twitter. Um, okay, so they're talking about seeking inappropriate loyalty to their leaders. We see this all the time. Yeah, we see there are certain people that until they're on the wrong side of history, they can do no wrong. Right? Even politics. Like, you know, they keep coming down to these extreme, like, do they Biden or Trump? It's like, you know, we've had many, many candidates and many, many presidents over the years. But even if one's out or whatever, it, it all comes down to that. Like, Trump's out of office. It doesn't matter. And we're still seeing these unhealthy obsessions. Um especially with Twitter about this person isn't even in office anymore. Yeah. Now it's like, now it's like, okay, Trump's out of office. Now anybody who ever tweeted support for him needs to be burned. Yeah. You know, it's like, what the and then, hell? You know, it's, so it's, grandma, it's, 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 grandma who's voted Republican her whole adult life, 60, 70 years, mm -hmm. you're going to go, you're going to go lynch grandma. I mean, yeah, come it's, it's on. insane. Uh, dishonoring the family unit. Again, you have people like, your, your Twitter bonds are stronger than your family bonds. You know, I literally have seen people on Facebook and Twitter say that they stopped talking to their parents or their brothers or sisters over a damn election. Yeah, here's the thing. If you have abusive family members that genuinely have been yeah, abusive, I, get I can that. completely I get that, understand but... that. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes your friends are closer to you than your family. That does happen. I'm not talking about situations like that. I'm talking about, you know, you're basically told that if you didn't vote the way you did, that you should not speak to them anymore. Um that somehow that your family that raised you is suddenly, and even if they, if you had a good childhood and they never abused you, they're suddenly abusive, horrible people because they didn't vote the way you wanted, or they like a show you don't like, or something stupid like that. We're talking about that kind of thing. Um, number six, they have crossing biblical boundaries of behavior. Now, this is obviously if you're, you know, part of a cult, maybe gets into kinky stuff, but I think this is more. Yeah, I'm looking at this like what is acceptable behavior. Again, making death threats over cartoon shows and shit. Yeah, that's I'm, not normal. I'm not saying biblical. But that's just an example of they're of course they're targeting far right, you know, yeah, far yeah. Christian groups is what the Atlantic's targeting. You could replace that biblical boundaries of behavior with whatever. It could just be the you know, law? yeah, or <laughs> you whatever. Know? <laughs> um, you know, there there's boundaries of behavior that usually don't you know like they don't like a cartoon show, so you have to go and lynch them. Yeah, it's like you're ridiculous. seeing these ridiculous behaviors and it's unacceptable and it and it is very cult-like uh, separation from the church or now from that, the group in this case yeah it would be from the group and that's you know we're talking about that that becomes uh you know the shunning the shunning so why do people virtue signal the way that they do because frankly they're afraid of being shunned they're afraid of being excluded from the group and again if you're part of a group like comics that works primarily with freelancers, that means that your your phone stops ringing. You don't mm -hmm. get any more work. So you better make sure everybody knows you're one of the good guys. So you chant the mantra mm -hmm. and you throw people under the bus when when they're the wrong people. Right. And the problem is, like they're saying here, like they're talking about professional circles and stuff. You know, you get you get, you get canceled because they aren't yeah. training the mantra. And you know, 
Hollywood needs to take note of this because, like you said, they're just going to cancel you last. It's like as soon as you step out of line, you're never allowed to have any thoughts, any opinions, any anything other than what the group says. It is hive mind mentality. I love when they're talking about the echo chamber and hive mind as they're the ones who keep acting like an echo chamber and a hive mind. You're not allowed to have a different opinion um, or that will get you canceled. So you're playing a dangerous game by, you know, Giving in to this behavior and allowing this behavior, um, you're feeding them the monster. And it's like I said, you're making it bigger. And eventually it's going to be big enough. It's going to eat you too. You just should not be, you should not, nobody, whether it be on the far right or far left should be, you know, saying, you know, this kind of behavior is okay. Yeah. And, and uh, that, that's kind of what's happening right now with Hollywood. I, I think we're starting to see some celebrities come out against cancel culture because now it was okay when it was just, you know, the the right wing gun nuts or whatever mm -hmm. that we were throwing under the bus, but now that it's coming for you and it right. always does. You, you create the monster. It, it always turns on you. Right. Always. You, you, you said you didn't want to do such and such a thing that they're demanding you do. Oh, well that means you get canceled right now. You know, you don't yeah. believe you didn't pledge your, you know, money and your allegiance to a certain candidate. Well, that means you're canceled now. It, it's a big problem. It's, it's, it is very caught like it's zealot behavior. Um, and it's not, it's, it's, it's not healthy. No. And it's not okay. And sadly, a lot of people um, who very much want to be included, who very, and that's what they, they, they target. Like, they're, I think they mentioned this on gaming things before. They were trying yeah. to say they were being recruited by the alt right. Um, when you have extreme groups, they try to tend to find people who feel like they don't fit in other places. And they're doing that because they're trying to make them feel like, a, give them a sense of belonging, a sense of acceptance, because they'll do whatever they that you ask them to, because they feel like, yeah, well, you're my family now, you gave me what I, I've been lacking. And that's a very dangerous thing. Yeah, we see that happen. I, I'm not talking, about, again, about one of the middle churches, but I'm talking about no. you know, getting into these religious groups, because, you know, they do, they, they go after lost people. You know, because they are malleable and they are, you know, um, desperate to to be, you know, approved and loved mm -hmm. and and and. And it works on either extreme. Yeah, it does. Because extremism um, is extremism for a reason. You don't hear the term zealot being thrown around to people that are basically normal people that aren't extremism extremists. Um, it's just a dangerous thing. So for every light, there for every day there is a night. For every light there is dark. For every you know the heads of a coin, you get the tails of a coin. There's always two sides. Always. And there's also there's always extremism on both sides, but you only ever hear about one. Yep, because the people who, who control that information tend to be on, on one side of Right. Rules yes. for and they and they seem to tend to own a lot of media outlets yep. or they're like yep. well, they got themselves in positions of power on these things and they and, and it's not working for them. Because now media outlets are trying to change course, they're trying to pivot the video. Yep. They're trying to do different things they can do to to, to shake it up because they know they have to be more in the middle and more reasonable and they they're they're going too hard in the paint on extremism. And this is a problem. And this rules for me, but you know, rules for thee but not for me mm. is absolute bullshit, no matter who you are. So we're gonna we're gonna leave you with that cheery thought. Just just you know Something we've talked about off and on, but it, it's very clear that, uh, you know, when you're trying to rationalize the behavior on, on Twitter, it, it's very hard to rationalize with somebody who is not being, being rational. rational. Well, you know, you also like they're talking about the stuff. And if you're thinking it's absolutely horrible, people should be accepting of other people. They should not be discriminating against people based on blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then you yourself are turning around doing the exact same thing. You're not in the side of right. You're still being an asshole. It's just that you're just being an asshole for a different side. I mean, none of it's okay. You shouldn't be against anybody based on race, gender, sexual orientation, you know, any of that stuff. It, you, if you if you you're like, oh, it's okay to be against this person because they're they're shit. They're you know, and then quite frankly, the straight white dude. If it's okay to be against that person, but it's not okay to be against like an LGBTQ Asian woman, um, then you got a problem because you shouldn't be against either. Uh, you know? Yeah. You shouldn't be. I mean, so it's it's the same. It's your exact same thing. Same coin, different side. Yep, but they don't see it that way. No, but, but that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. That's the biggest takeaway from from everything is is people need to think for themselves again. And I think you know this goes hand in hand with it being maybe it is a generational thing. I think it looks like Gen Z is starting to. Uh, come around a little yes bit more. Yes and no. But, well, I think it depends uh, where you're at. I'm just know. like, you know, think for yourself. And people don't understand that if someone else disagrees with you and, and on something like a show or something so stupid like a show, it's not a personal thing. Like, these people have their, their self-worth and everything so tied up in this worship of whatever it is 
that if somebody, you know, says something questionable or negative or, you know, raises a question about it, they immediately must be smited. And it's, it, it's a very dangerous thing because not, you laugh, you like that, but not liking She-Ra is not a reason they should be dead. Yeah. It's like, it's not, they might not, it has nothing to do with you. They don't like it for whatever reason. It's nothing personally against you. And people can't separate, they can't separate that. In their mind, you're personally hating on them, even if you're not. You, you're allowed to not like something, just like you're allowed to like something. It's all okay. It has nothing to do with you personally. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture. Usually, usually pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Love to all of you.